Greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fusov, and today, October 7, 2018, and today a very sunny day. Fortunately, we have a sunshine, and it's a very nice sunset, and it's interesting artist today in front of my camera because this is a very special artist which is actually dangerous but still living in my jar in this box and actually this is very special wasp do you understand do you know this wasp if you like it if you don't like it if you're afraid of it so follow this video because i will tell you a story about this wasp and what is the name of this wasp this is european hornet yes it is this is european hornet this is not asian hornet this is european one and this is a queen i just collected this queen few days ago when it was also a sunny day and she was trying to escape from her mother mother's nest actually it was it was a very nice nest in a hollow tree and it was abundant already it was no guards in this nest because it was the time when all queens should be moving out of nest more maybe this queen this queen this female just hatched just emerged from her cell in a hornet nest and was just sitting and taking a sunshine bath but i collected it especially for this presentation because I know it's not so easy to come to the nest to see it at a very close distance so that's why it's better to keep it somewhere in a jar to show it from with the camera in at the safe distance by the way so that's why I'm trying to be careful don't allow it her to escape but still tell this interesting story at this close distance and without frame just increasing just my magnification magnification of a camera the zoom to show you the all peculiarities of this nest pest and by the way do you know that this is a dangerous insect yes of course because she can sting and sting very painfully definitely you will not like if she will sting you I hopefully not me. So I am very pleased to show the this wasp and to show this very bright head, thorax and abdomen with black or just brownish strips. And actually the body is haired with many hairs. Pretty nice one. Okay, and the sunshine. She will be sitting carefully so I hope to show you how she is sitting the head we can see antennae we can see fronts so we can see three small simple eyes on front and you can see brownish eyes lo uh, long oval facet eyes which are making very complicated observation and can so the sense you can see pretty well all around the thorax with hairs you can recognize all these shining hairs on the body it looks pretty nice the legs with seta with horns as well yes they are very important and useful for grooming of the sense for cleaning body and of course you see yellow abdomen with a sting on the top Sting, this is a modified ovipositor which is used for protection of the nest because this European hornet is social wasp. Social, it means just living in a group. So that's why the social wasp is protecting the nest where they're living and where they're just taking care for the larvae because the queen is building the nest then creating some cells from a cellulose and taking care for the brood but this is a new queen this is a new queen which should overwinter and after successful overwintering should create a new 
house in your nest in the next year hatching somewhere in the spring from the not from the nest but from the place from hidden place somewhere under the ground maybe in a small hollow maybe under the bark between leaves maybe at the roof of another of human's house so where can she can find careful place for overwintering because females queens of an, this generation must survive during the winter to give birth to a new nest in a new year. So I'm trying to be careful because actually this is a queen, Bihuan, about uh, 30 millimeters, 3 centimeters. Actually she is not very active because she is sitting several few already second day inside this box, but still maybe this is instinct to save herself from other activities because she has no nest for protection at the present time. Her instinctive behavior should be to survive till the next year. So of course she is careful about irritation. But nevertheless you can see antennae on the head. You can see a yellow clipeos on the on front part of her body of her head. You can see mandibula, the big mandibula on the down part of her head. Mandibula is important and useful to cut something, to cut the wood, to cut the prey or the food. And actually this is a voracious insect because uh, females, queens and workers, they are collecting food and food. This is insect or these are insects, different insects and many of them were pests from the forest, from different areas, even in urban areas a lot of insects to, to be collected. So I collected this nice queen just near my house in a hollow tree, in a hollow poplar. So we can find always suitable place to survive and to create with a nest, maybe in diameter about 15, no, 15, 20, 20, more than 20 centimeters. Just a hollow place in a tree is good enough to create a nest for this wonderful insect. Okay, she was very careful and quiet, just moving a little bit by head, legs and wings. Wings you can see were hidden on the body. So allowed us to tell this uh, story about her and thank you for watching and looking forward to see you as my subscriber on my channel and I'll tell you more stories about European hornets and about honeybees and about different insects as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget press likes, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends as far as you have not seen this insect before. This is a choice to know more about this insect and I will create more stories about another interesting insect on my channel. Thank you for your curiosity and interest. Bye bye, see you soon on my channel as subscriber and follower. Bye bye and thank you for this nice artist European Hornet. She was very patient and careful. At least I showed different aspects of her body, her parts. Try to be careful and don't allow her to escape, but to show it very carefully. Okay, thank you for watching. <music>